the Marshall Island for a statement. The uh, head of the delegation of Nicaragua, you have the floor, sir. Thank you very much, uh, co-presidents. Ladies and gentlemen, friends, I bring to you the fraternal greetings of our president, Comandante Daniel Ortega Saavedra, at uh, this historic summit of the United Nations to adopt the document Transforming Our World, the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. This underscores how important it is to renew our commitment with the peoples of the world, with Mother Earth, for a world at peace, free of poverty and evil. This is a crucial time when the evaluation and culmination of uh, the Millennium Development Goals, which we agreed upon 15 years ago, coincide with the 70th anniversary of the foundation of the United Nations, whose purpose is peace, and the social and economic development of our peoples. During the past 70 years, the world has continued to suffer conflicts which clearly disrupt international peace and security with wars of aggression, military interventions, occupations of sovereign countries, policies aimed at changing regimes, which have undermined and uh, reduced the development achieved in states offering security and prosperity to their peoples, uh, creating the conditions for the expansion of violent extremism and international terrorism, leading as far as the control of territories. The result of this is the present crisis, which has made millions into refugees whose numbers are growing every day. How can we explain to these millions of men, women, and children who don't have anything to eat, who have no roof, education, or health, that yes, there is money for military expenditure, for wars and intervention, but there are no budgets for development projects, for our people to live well in harmonious fellowship with Mother Earth? President, despite this, we are amongst those countries who have made progress in reducing poverty and hunger. However, we have not been able fully to achieve the Millennium Development Goals. Fully achieving the Millennium Development Goals must be an essential target for the uh, 2030 Sustainable Development Agenda. This agenda must be implemented on the basis of the principle of shared but differentiated responsibility in order to change the present economic uh, order, is to establish a new economic and uh, financial model and uh, to create new patterns of production and consumption uh, permitting sustainable lifestyles. Our president describes the current um, economic model as one driving development at all costs. We struggle for sustainable development, but what has prevailed and continues to be pursued is unsustainable development, uh, giving rise to inequality and poverty." End of quotation. This is why our major challenge must be to implement the 17 Sustainable Development Goals. Their priority is to eradicate poverty and inequality for 2030. Pope Francis inspired us with his presence and his contribution with the encyclical entitled Laudato Si, Praise Be to Thee. We espouse its sentiments. All must be mindful of it when we implement the agreed agenda. To achieve the outstanding Millennium Development Goals and implement the Sustainable Development Goals, it is vital that developing countries should have access to technological and financial resources. 
they must be able to strengthen their capacities and enjoy the political room to enable them to promote their national policies and sovereignty. Nicaragua has been meeting its commitments uh, to the MDGs, and we are closer to achieving all of them today. Under the guidance and with the political resolve of our President, uh, Comandante Daniel Ortega Saavedra, we have followed a Christian and socialist model of solidarity. The National Plan of uh, Human Development and our uh, organizational capacities and the mobilization of our people have been determining factors in achieving the reduction of poverty and uh, economic and gender inequality. Nicaragua is amongst the leading countries when it comes to numbers of women in the executive, the parliament and municipalities, as testified by the World Economic Forum Gender Gra Gap Index. Our government's policy is to promote women to center stage as an essential factor in policies for sustainable development. These include access to land, to property, and loans, as well as programs providing capital for rural and urban women, such as zero hunger and zero usury. As a part of our commitment, as we seek a, to have a positive impact on this new agenda, we would like to propose to the international community a, an international campaign on access to safe surgery, as the lack of this causes more deaths every year than malaria, tuberculosis, and HIV AIDS together, and chiefly amongst the, most, the poorest and most vulnerable people of the world. The people of Nicaragua wishes to see that uh, the implementation of the 2030 Agenda means the international community renewing and strengthening its commitment and solidarity with the peoples of the world to drive human development uh, with justice uh, for the climate and society, with peace and harmony, with respect for territorial in integrity and the self-determination of peoples, ensuring the survival of the human race and the rights of Mother Earth. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.